Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term reflection in the context of agentic workflows? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. So what is reflection? Well, very simply, reflection is a agentic workflow design pattern. In an agentic workflow, reflection is a self-evaluation step where the agent critically reviews its previous output to identify mistakes, improve results, or choose better strategies. So let's look at a typical user interaction with an agentic workflow using reflection. So a user provides an initial prompt, such as a problem to solve, a plan to generate, or a piece of text to analyze. As an example, please summarize this article, or create a plan to launch a new product. Next, the LLM, which is part of this larger agentic system, receives the prompt. It takes the prompt from the user and it generates an initial output, but instead of immediately responding to the user, it passes this initial draft output to the next phase, which is the reflection step. In this next step, the agentic workflow initiates a self-review of the initial draft output. Quite simply, the LLM reviews its own work and the agentic system treats this as if it were a second opinion. In this step, the agentic workflow generates a reflection summary. This summary could explicitly call out potential flaws, gaps in logic, uncertainties, or assumptions. The agentic workflow uses this reflection step to revise its output. The goal is to either fix mistakes or improve the quality of the original answer. In some agentic workflows, it could look through multiple reflection cycles before generating a final response. Depending on the design, the agentic workflow can present both outputs to the user or just the revised output. The key point is that when using reflection, the agent revises or regenerates a solution based on its own self-assessment, aiming for better results. So what is the benefit of reflection? Well, reflection improves reliability and accuracy in agentic workflows by adding a feedback loop, enabling the agent to think twice or self-correct before giving the final response to the user. You should use reflection for use cases that require high accuracy or reliability. Additionally, use cases that are complex with multiple steps can benefit from reflection. In these cases, reflection helps verify that all the required steps were followed in a logical order. Lastly, reflection is a good choice for use cases where correctness or quality can be assessed, such as math problems, code correctness, or logical consistency. In a follow-on video coming up here soon, I'll show you a Python land graph example that implements a use case using reflection. Keep an eye out for this if you're interested. So now you should have a good high level understanding of the agentic workflow design pattern called reflection. I'm interested to hear what your thoughts about this. So let me know what you think of reflection in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching. This video along with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.